Him at the corner, 42nd South Watertown, Mount Vernon, or online at JoiningWilts.com. We're about to get underway here. Here's your starting lines, of course, for the old, or excuse me, the Alton Redbirds. It'll be number one, Larry Gibbons. Number two, Abbott Brown. Number five, Tyrone Parker. Number 12, Aaron Womack. And it looks like your fifth and final starter. We'll get to know in just a second here for the Redbirds. For the Rams, it is going to be Michael Feeser, Jake Pike, Trevor Florida, Braden Fitzgerald, and Jaron Lydell. Those lineups presented by Central Christian Church. Discover the excitement at Central. They stream their Friday night and Sunday services online. Log on to thenewcentral.com, Central Christian Church. Loving God and loving people. Officials for this afternoon, this morning's contest are Jay Brannon. Of course, we have Jeff Koppel and Aaron Wright. Those are your officials. Aaron Wright will be the lead official today, the referee, as he will tip the basketball. The Rams are the home team on the scoreboard today, dressed in their home white with orange numerics trimmed in black, while the Redbirds will be in their away red, silver trim, civil numerics trimmed in white. About to get underway, courtesy of Community First Bank of the Heartland, of course. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home. Dick Stein at Woodlawn and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Tip in the backcourt to Brown. 7.57 to play in the first. We are just underway off to the right wing. Not a great vantage point here at the annex, but we will take it. We thank Centralia High School and their staff, especially JT, the IT guy, everything he does. Of course, the three from the right wing is no good off the iron by number 11. Carlos Anderson, who's your fifth starter, four. Oh, and deep into the board of the front corner will be Fitzgerald's left of the circle, throwing over the right side for Lydell to go into the corner for Florida. Back to the right wing, Jaron with the basketball. The left hand comes to the right, Pike looking at the back door. And Lydell's going to have it stop the key. Pike will come off off of the screen. They'll throw to Floda off of the far wing. Looking for Feeser. Has an open baseline. Has Pike back door. Nope, to the right wing we go. Floda swung around. Three on the way. Fitzgerald sets the tone. Nope, it's off the side iron. Rebound will go to the back door. So the Rams get an offensive board there for the uh, Michael Feeser. And here comes Lydell off of the far wing. 7-10 mark of the first. No score. Rams looking to be that first scoring opponent. We will have no timeout. Scott Gamber wants his timeout in the early going. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop. 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Eric Black and his staff at the medicine shop wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. Here's a seven minute, six second mark of this first quarter. No score yet. Here's the Rams battling the Alton Redbirds. Winner will get the winner of the O'Fallon St. Lawrence game going on right now at the CHS Arena. The Constellation Championship here at the Central Holiday Tournament played at 6 p.m. If the Rams are in that, we'll have a 545 pregame right here on WMIXFM. Audio only at WMIXSports.com. Video will return to the Rams on January the 5th. The Rams will travel to the St. Anthony Shootout, where they will battle Pete Town at 4 o'clock. That's when we'll have video again, fueled by Dale Charlie Davidson, where they trade for anything. No smoke in the mirror deals at Dale's. His bikes as well as $29.95, a party every weekend, and a 10-year life of cycle warranty. Dale Charlie Davidson online at dales-hd.com. Feeds are the inbound side of the bounce from the Alton bench, which is on the far sideline from our perspective. Seven minutes to play in the first, still... No score here in the annex. The 70th annual Central Holiday Tournament wraps up with day three here today. Trophy games are 436, 730, and 9 here at Centralia. Left of the circle is going to be Pike. Feeds in the corner. Fits for a three. Yes. Freshman comes up big in the early going. Gets the first bucket of the game. It is three to nothing. Rams on top early here. 640 mark of the first. Alton's been a team in this tournament. Controlled the tempo early. And they come up lame in the second half. But they'll have an answer from the right wing. Tyrone Parker ties it up at three. 6.31 to play in this first quarter. Coming across the timeline, it's Lydell. Looks off the line. The the left wing. Florida goes right of the circle. Gets it right back from Fitzgerald. Three on the way. Does he have an answer for the answer? No, it rims out. Feeds underneath. Offensive rebound. Looking to go up. The floater's good. Fees are playing well in the AM hours. 5-3. to three. The Rams are back up a deuce with 6-11 to play. Here in the first. The Rams won last year's Constellation Championship over the Effingham Hearts. Off the right elbow, looking to lean in. Ooh, McLemore goes in like a bull in a china shop, but that's going to be a blocking foul on Jake Pike. That'll be Pike's first, team's first. Chris Hugo with you, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Don't forget, follow us on Twitter at WMIXSports. Danny Derwinski, of course, will join me for second half action as he wraps up the Saturday Sports Show back to the studios of AM 940. Three on the way is no good by Given. Defensive board to Florida, and here come the Rams. 5.55 to play in the first. 5-3 your score. Rams looking to add to this lead. Into the front court, of course, if you're watching from the bleachers, the Rams are moving right to left. Off of the steal, it's intercepted by Womack. Kicks it out to the left side. Good move by Abbott Brown. His runner's no good, and that'll be breaking the law of verticality on number 11, Carlos Anderson. 5.41 to go here in the first. 
That'll be Anderson's first, team's first. The fouls are even at one apiece here in the first quarter. Rams will inbound, links the floor. It'll be right of the bucket. They will inbound to Jaron Lydell off of the wing. Stuck in the backcourt, 538 to play of the first. Still a 5-3 ball game. Rams with an early two-point advantage over the Redbirds. Redbirds, of course, out of the Southwestern Conference. Anderson will steal the pass. Coming up left timeline, and he's fouled on his way to the bucket off the left block. To the line to shoot two will be Carlos Anderson. And unfortunately for the Rams, lack passing costing them in the early going. Five to three year score. Two point advantage here for Mount Vernon. That could change the line as Carlos Anderson. A great perimeter shooter, but has had some struggles in this tournament in the second half, as have the Redbirds. Important for the Rams to jump out early and not let it Alton control things here in the early going. First free throw is good. And it's five to four just like that. Familiar faces, new places. Bank of Gray and Bria, Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 528 to go on the quarter. 5-4, Alton trailing by one, looking to tie it with Anderson at the line, shooting two. Back in is going to be soft. They'll tip the rebound to Feeder, tips it right back to Parker. He'll come along, blocked by Mitchell, who's into the ballgame. Good block by Mitchell, rebound to Fitz. It'll be Lydell having his pocket pick, wasn't paying attention. Brown will steal the way. Another turnover on the Rams here in the early first quarter. Brown, the runner in the lane, will be no good. Feeser gets the board again, and Rams have got to take better care of the basketball here in the first. 5.07 to play, first quarter. Glad to have you. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. 5-4, your score. Coming around from the corner, it'll be Lydell looking over to Fitz. Deep wing. Left elbow looking back door play for Mitchell. It's good. Mitchell with two points off of the bench. It's 7-4. Mount Vernon on top, 4.52 mark of the first. Brown will walk it across the timeline, right, with a left-hand dribble. 4.44 to play, opening quarter. Off the free-throw line. Anderson's going to hand off to Parker, and they're going to get Lydell. Regarding a little too closely. Had to have an official change for this matchup. Brent Garrison of Woodlawn initially slated to be on this one, but because Jeff Koppel of Centralia was slated for the 8.30 game in the gym, and Centralia was in that game, those two had to switch. So it's Jeff Koppel of Centralia, Mr. Brandon here of Centralia, and Aaron Wright of, I believe, still through coin. Off of the right wing, that is Carlos Anderson with the basketball, the inbound. We head to the four-minute mark of the first quarter. Seven to four, Rams on top. They have a three from Fitz and two apiece from Mitchell and Feaser here in the early going. Off of the right wing, left hand for Given. Given has some Centralia blood in him. Long pull-up three coming from Anderson, no good. Feaser the rebound underneath. He is going to be critical to the Rams' success here at 10 o'clock. Now coming up the right side is Rabiel Idell. Cuts back to the left, still in the backcourt, giving him some pressure. Full court variety, looks like some 2 1 2. Coming off the left, that'll be Shikari Hawkins. Wasn't able to make it yesterday, but back in the lineup here today for the Rams. Off of the right, it's Lydell, looking to work towards the circle. Slow to open here in the left corner. That's where they go. Slow to three on the way, it's good. Kind of let Flota get set before he announced the three ball on the way, and it seemed to work. It's 10 to 4 as Flota gets his first bucket of the ball game. It's a 344 mark here in the first, and the Rams add to this lead. They look up top for McLemore, steps left wing. No relation to Mark McLemore, the former Baltimore Oriole. Looking underneath, what are they going to do? It's going to be McLemore on a reverse, no good. Rolls off the back iron, rebound to Feaser. 325 mark of the first quarter, it is 10 to 4. Rams up six here in this Constellation semifinal. Rams came into this very place last year at 8.30, or excuse me, 10 o'clock, and they beat the Jacksonville Crimson. Let's see if the luck is the same here against the Redbirds. Turned over at the free throw line in the front court, taking it the length of the floor for the layup is Larry Given. And just like that, it's 10 to 6. Back within four are the Redbirds. 301 mark of the first. 10-6 is your score. It is a full timeout. We'll take a 30-second break. This is Rand Basketball from WMIX Sports. How does Dale's Harley-Davidson in Mount Vernon stay the longest-running Harley dealer in Southern Illinois? How about free pickup and delivery and being the home of the $29.95 oil change? Plus, get financing as low as 1.5 APR, along with the best selection of certified pre-owned Harley-Davidsons. So now you know how Dale's Harley-Davidson stays number one. Dale's Harley-Davidson, open every day but Wednesday, just off of I-57 in Mount Vernon. Visit dales-hd.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. This is Bria Ashby from Community First Bank. You're listening to the Rams on WMIS. And we welcome you back to the CHS Annex. 301 to play in the first. The Rams lead is 10 to 6 over the Alton Redbirds. Full court pressure here. 1-2-2. Two, two. From Alton. 
255 to play in the first. Rams in the backcourt. That's Shakari Hawkins with the basketball. Trying to cross over dribble. Scott Gamber has to burn a timeout. Last timeout presented by the Medicine Shop, as is this one. We'll take a break. We're back in 30. Do you farm or operate an agriculture-based business? Then Community First Bank is for you. Hi, I'm Steve Down, Agribusiness Lending Officer at Community First Bank. With our roots firmly planted in Jefferson County, we offer the stability, strength, and personal attention that you deserve. Community First Bank wants to be your financial partner with customized products for both your personal and farm banking needs. Stop by any of our five convenient Jefferson County locations to see how we can help your business grow. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back to Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. And we're back here at the CHS Annex. The Rams had to burn another timeout presented by the Medicine Shop. Eric Black and the staff at the Medicine Shop in Mount Vernon wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. Quickly into the front court, off of the far wing. It's Hawkins. They got away with a kick. It'll be an over and back. They did not see the kick off the left side. They blatantly missed the kick, and that'll be a turnover on the Rams, and that could be huge. Scott Gamber is going to plead his case there and right. It's not going to matter, and blatantly missed the kick off the left foot of the Alton defender. That could haunt the Rams. 2.43 to play in the first. 10 to 6. Alton with the basketball and a big opportunity. Scott Gamber livid, and rightfully so. I love all these guys out here on the floor, but a mistake is a mistake. 2.34 to go, but we're all human. Coming off to the right, it's Anderson off glass. Good. Carlos Anderson has three, and just like that, it's 10 8. That missed kick could be a big opportunity for the Redbirds. Off the left, it'll be Hawkins. 2.20 mark of the first. Rams on top, 10 8. Off the right wing, it's Fitz, kicks it into the corner for Florida. Back to Fitz, almost had it stolen away, recovers, turns left. Looking looking for Hawkins, and it's out of bounds off of all. It'll remain with the Rams. That was a great pickup by Jeff Koppel off of the tip. 2-11 to play in the first quarter. 10-8 is your score. Might be a little Mary Kay in it, though. Maybe some Avon or Revlon. Coming up top, it's going to be Fitzgerald with the basketball. Looks in the corner for Florida. Along the baseline, comes near to far. Yes! Florida, the running layup across that baseline. Looking good today. He has five. The Rams are back up. 12-8. 1.53 to play in the first quarter. Alton with the basketball. They look off the left side from Brown to Parker. Parker with the right hand dribble, deep left wing. Now looking inside for Anderson. Had it stripped away. It was forced by Fitz, recovered by Fieser in the back court. A minute 36 to go in the first quarter. We'll look for a Rinley College player of the game. A Rinley College, find them online at rlc.edu. See how you can save thousands on your collegiate education on over 100 degree certificate programs. 124 to play in the first quarter. It's 12 8 ramps. Loda left open for three. There it is. Yep. Loda has eight in the quarter, and it's 15-8. Rams up seven with a minute 13 to go in the first frame. Brown off to the right wing. Left-hand dribble. Thought about pulling up. Goes to Anderson up top. Good ball fake, but there's a defender to meet him. Underneath, Parker left alone. Partially blocked by Fieser. No call. Put back by McLemore is strong. Or make that Womack. My apologies. It is 15-10 at Alton. Back within five. 49 seconds to play. It's a trap in the corner. Lydell is able to find Fees, who finds Fitz for three. Fitz has two trades in the quarter. Six on the day. It's 18-10 as the Rams are living by the three here in the first quarter. 35 seconds to play. Your community, your choice, your bank with five locations and friends and neighbors on staff will understand your needs. Pretty First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to personal banking. Welcome back to a three attempt by Brown. No good. Back to a rebound to Fieser. Big possession here as we near the end of the first quarter. The Rams on top, 18-10. 16 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Avery Brown. Avery Brown. Wow, I was looking at Abasa Brown. And I combined the names. Avery Barton is back at our Mount Vernon studio. Danny Zawinski will join me in a second. I'm Chris Hugo, and we're going to have a foul. And that's going to be a foul before Florida steps on the baseline. So that will be a big chance here for the Rams. So they will reset right at the bucket with 3.5 seconds left to go here in the first on Alton's third team foul. That's Anderson, second. Fitzgerald will come into the corner for float out of the box. That he will lean in, and that is going to be a charge. And that is actually a good call there off the left side. Flota kind of came in and just put the shoulder in, and you're not going to get that block very often. 1.3 seconds left to go in the first. That'll be another turnover here on the Rams. It's their second foul of the day. If Flota picks up his first, 1.3, or actually fourth foul, my apologies. 1.3 seconds left to go. It'll have to be off of the left baseline on the trigger. 
We'll try to keep you up to date on all the games going on at the CHS Arena while we are on here. St. Lawrence leads O'Fallon after one. 14-12. Jim Schick, who had 50 points yesterday in a win over as a three ball for three quarters court. It's no good from Brown. We'll tell you more about that thought here in just a second. It's 18-10, Rams after one. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Announcing Schmidt Ford of Salem, sales lineup. Paula, the Gardner Russell. Jason, the Mini Webb. Steve, the Sleeper Hotsey. Francis Mac McIntosh. Matt, the Hacker Reed. Jill, the Gambler McManus. Rick, part-time bail. Jim, no pressure Barkus. Dak, the Dealmaker Johnson. And Mike, the Hunter Russell. From our team to your team, Schmidt Ford of Salem wishes all our local sports teams a safe and winning season. With two new hospitals, trusted physicians, and dedicated staff, it's clear that our local healthcare industry is helping to make our community stronger every day. Hi, I'm Terry Prosize, a commercial lender and healthcare banking specialist at Community First Bank. I'm putting over 20 years of healthcare and business experience to work for our medical community and local businesses. Whether you have an expanding physician practice, an existing business, or hoping to start a new business, I have the financial prescription for you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and I. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing. This is Joe David Cummins for Community First Bank. You're listening to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to the CHS Annex. No video today, just audio on WMIXSports.com. We're glad to have you on WMIXFM 94.1, of course. Chris Hugo, Danny Jawinski will join me probably in time for the second half. The Rams will start the second quarter with possession. They lead 18-10 over the Alton Redbirds. The Redbirds got here via a loss to Effingham, 46-43. Beat Champaign Central yesterday, 64-57. to Looking great in the first half of both games, but somewhat sluggish in the second half of both. In the backcourt, the inbound went to Lydell across the timeline. to the right wing for Feeser, looking for the backdoor lob. Hawkins, yep. Buddha off of the bench with two, and it's 20 to 10. The Rams doubling up the Redbirds here. But Brown is into the front court for Alton. They're moving left to right. If you're sitting from the bleacher perspective here at the NX, beautiful auxiliary gymnasium they have here. Off of the right, it could be Anderson off block. Good. Post up there by Anderson gives him two more. He has five. Redbirds have 12. They're back with an eight. Rams control with the basketball in the backcourt. It'll be Lydell across the timeline. Looks off to the right for Florida. Gets it right back off the wing. Jaron with the basketball. 7.20 to go in the first half. Rams lead is 8. 20 to 12. Fitz coming around from the left corner. Hawkins with the basketball. Rolls to the circle. Going to cut back left side. Now makes a move to the right. Looking into the corner for Lydell at the timeline. Found a seam, but it was shut off quickly by the Alton defense. Up top, Florida looks left wing for Hawkins. Back to the top of the key for Beezer tried to set a screen for Fitz, and what are we going to have? We're going to have a foul near the top. That foul will be on the Redbirds. That is their third, first of the quarter. France basketball course is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to personal banking. They have familiar faces in new places. Bank of Ray and Bria, Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to personal banking. Pull the triggers left of the bucket. Goes deep left wing for Lydell. 655 mark for the first half. 2012, your score. The Rams are up eight. Glad to have you. Hope you enjoyed the Saturday Sports Show this morning on AM 940. D.C. and Mike Richardson with a bevy of guests here on a busy holiday tournament morning. Glad we're able to get that one in for you. Stolen away by Womack. Takes it length and gets the foul. As that will count as Womack went off the left block. He has four on the day. It's 20 to 14 and and one coming. But that foul will be on Hawkins. It's four first, but the team's fifth. We're in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Schedule your service appointments online at FordSquare.com. Hopefully they have us on at Ford Square, usually do. Hello to everybody there. 6.39 to play in this first half, 20-14. to 14. Womack at the line, shooting and one, he'll knock it down. Just like that, eight-point advantage turns into five, and we will have... Something off of the inbound. Can't see what it is from this distance. Was screened out. 6.38 to play in the half. 2015. Rams on top. Looking for a date with either O'Fallon or St. Lawrence. It's a trap in the backcourt. They're going to get it ahead to Mitchell trying to break this press. It's going to be off the float off the right. Makes a move to his left into the paint. Working against McLemore off glass. No, it rolls off the front iron. It hit back. Rolled off front. And a big defensive board here for number 12, Aaron Womack. Oh, the Redbirds with it in the front court. Larry Givens, again, has some Centralia blood in him. We told you about that. 
in the first quarter. Up top, screen three coming. Parker, no good. Glances off the front iron. Womack fights for the rebound. It'll be out of bounds off of Alm. It'll be Ram basketball here at the 6.08 mark. Quick scoreboard update. Centralia beat McClure North 54-45 in the first fifth place semi. Effingham beat Oakland right here before this one, 44 to 41. Scoreboard update presented by Tony Wilt State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance financial service needs, find Tony at TonyWilt.com. Or at the back door, 42nd South Water Tower. Just like Fitz found, Float at the back door. He has two in the quarter. Ten on the game, and it's 22-15. As Alden is outscoring the Rams 5-4 to four here in this second quarter. I don't know if Tony really wants you to go to the back door, though. We were just trying to work that one in. Parker looks off left wing. Here comes Gibbon. Trying to go baseline. Shut off. McLemore with it off of the left arc. 5.40 to play in the first half. The Rams lead it back to a touchdown, 22-15. Good move by McLemore off the ball fake. Got near the elbow. It's going to go right wing, however, now. Ooh, the Rams playing some solid defense here. Womack was looking inside for a backdoor cut, I believe. Parker, it's 22-15. The lead is 7 for the Rams. They tip it out of bounds, and they'll force Halton to reset here. 5.28 mark of the second. Griffin with three off the inbound. We'll go to the back door. Good try by Givens. Rebound by, that was number 12, Womack, and travels on his way. He got the rebound right, tried to do a spin to his left and get inside, but took too many steps in the process, losing him to pivot. And the 5.22 mark of the second, the Rams get the ball back and a chance to grow this lead. Eight has been their largest back when it was 20-12 to 12 at 18-10. Something like that. Into the front court come the Rams. Lydell sees an op, slides at the Caesar, but it's tipped to Floater for three. Off the front iron, over the backboard, and down. That'll be a team rebound now for the Redbirds. So a good chance there. That one just kind of plinkled around and wouldn't go through. 5.09 to play in the first half. 22-15 is your score. Avery Barton back at the Mount Vernon studio. Chris Hugo with you on WMIX. WMIXSports.com as well. We'll have your second chance auto halftime show coming up after the break. Say all about this first half of action. Let's tell you what the Rams need to do in the quarters three and four. Up top is going to be that was Walmart. Brown with the basketball, backs it up near the timeline, hands off to Givens off to the left, trying to go left toward the baseline, has to go McLemore off of the wing. We're still on the left side, veering off to the right. Walmack trying to make a move against Hawkins. Kicks out Brown, thought about the pull-up three. Splits the defense on the way with a runner, and he's fouled. Bailout foul there as Brown will go to the line to shoot two. Both team, a lot of teams in this tournament getting that call in the lane as they run in. It's not just privy to this game. 441 to go in the first half, 22-15. And Brown was a player that wowed a lot of guys last year here in this tournament. So we the same here in 2012. 441 to go in this first half at the line shooting the first. It is good. So Brown gets on the board for the first time today. He has one, looking to make it two. It's 22-16. Redbirds are back within six for the Rams. It's Lydell, Fitzgerald, Hawkins, Spezer, and Floda. Looks like Brown, McLemore, Womack, Parker, and Gibbons for the Redbirds. That both free throws are good by Brown. He can do a lot for you. 22-17. It's back within five. Here comes Lydell across the timeline, and that's going to be a quick touch foul on Mr. Womack. Couldn't do it without the help of All Stars and Stitches, one of our Rams booster sponsors. If you can put a logo on it, All Stars and Stitches can probably print it for your school, company, or organization. They even do apparel. See Big Dave at All Stars and Stitches, 435 55 55. 427 to go in the half. Rams with the basketball up by 22 17. 422 to play in the first half. Deep right wing. It is going to be Lydell looking off the sideline for Florida. Back to the left wing, Lydell. Going around to Fitzgerald's right arc, 409 to play in the half. Nice spin move trying to cut to the basket. Get to the feeder off last. No, it's going to roll off the front iron. The rebound will come to Parker. Here come the Redbirds. It's flunk across the timeline. Left side, Given thought about the deep three. McLemore will take the deep three. No good right iron. Shortest man fits in there for the rebound. It's going to be stolen away. And now a charge. Walmack came in off the rebound after he ripped it away from Fitzgerald. Goes in like a bull in a china shop to the Ram defender, Hawkins. That'll be a turnover and a foul here on Alton at the 350 mark of this first half. It's still 22-17. Rams hanging on to this five-point advantage. Renly College player of the game will come your way in the postgame show. Renly College has over 100 degree and certificate programs from which to choose. Find out more at rlc.edu. See which one's right for you. 345 to go. Rams in the backcourt off of the length of the floor inbound right of the bucket. Still in the backcourt, Hawkins with it, gets across the timeline left. Looking off to the right side for Lydell. Off near the Alton bench, it's going to be Floda coming around left hand. 
And that is going to be a foul as the as Abbott the Brown crashes into Fitz at the timeline. Nothing he could do. He was coming with a full head of Steve just trying to get in there on the play and couldn't stop those breaks. And that'll be a foul. Number six on the Redbirds. Both teams will be in the bonus next foul. Seven to say they're already in the bonus. 3.27 to play in the first half. 22-17 is the Ram lead. Fitz will come around off a of curl. Good move. Runner's good. Fitz made a nice move coming around off his defender going right. Puts the Rams back up seven. It's 24-17 as the 3-14 mark of the first half. Off the left, Parker with it. Deep left wing, right-hand dribble, wearing his away red uniform with silver trim, white trim, silver numeric trimmed in white. The Rams in their home whites. Orange and black trim. Three on the way from the corner is going to be no good from Hill. We'll have a foul on the rebound. Looks like the law of verticality has been broken yet again today. That foul is going to be on Larry Given. Dale Charlie Davidson fuels the video on WMIXSports.com. Video returns on Saturday, January 5th when St. Anthony hosts the shootout. The Rams will be there as they play T-Town at 4 p.m. We'll have video on WMIXSports.com fueled by Dale Charlie Davidson where they trade for anything. No smoke in the mirror deals at Dale's, just bikes as low as $29.95. A party every weekend and Dale's is the only Harley dealer in southern Illinois that offers a 10-year life and cycle warranty. Find out more at dales-hd.com. Photo will be sent to the line on the one and bonus on what turned into the seventh team foul on the Redbird. First one's up, and it's good. Boda will kill you at the line if you give him the chance. He puts the Rams back up 8-25-17, matches their largest lead. Looks to get the largest lead of the afternoon with his second free throw to make it 9. 2.56 to go in the first half. Yep. Knee is feeling a lot better. 26-17, the Rams up 9, 2.52 mark of the first half. Left side. Gibbons will come back to the right. Brown swings a three, NBA range. That's going to be 26-20. Back within six on a big three by Abbott to Brown. Rams stuck on the left side. A little 2-1-2, full court here. Back in the corner. It's going to be Floda coming around off to the right wing. That's Lydell, 2-30 mark of the second quarter. Looking back to the left. Floda will come around to the top. Lost control, regained a nice pivot there. Find speed or top. Nice no looker to Buda. Layup, good. Good job by Shakari Hawkins. They call him Buddha. It's 28 20, 216 mark of the second quarter. The Ram lead goes to eight again. Brown off the right wing, dribbling in. Nice dribble, nice fake to get the distance, and misses the shot short, but the rebound's going to be tipped out. McLemore to Brown, three on the way, no good. Right iron, rebound, Beezer goes up over. Gets the board. No, that was Floda. Wow. Sometimes they're nearly identical underneath with their post presence. Two. We drop below the two-minute mark now. That's going to be foul. Gibbons tried to rip it away from Shikari Hawkins to the 150 mark of this first half. 28-20 is your score. The Rams with a big first quarter, first half lead. With five locations in Mount Vernon, Nick Zina, and Woodlawn, Speedy First Bank is proud to be the official voice of the Rams and the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Hawkins is at the line shooting the one in bonus. The minute 50 mark of this first half, trying to extend this Rams lead. First one is good. So Buddha has five, looking to evolve that into six. Put the Rams up ten. That would then be their largest lead. Let's see if that largest lead can continue to grow exponentially. Hawkins makes both. Hawks puts the Rams up ten here. 30 to 20. Minute 48 to play here in the first half. Sarah Staley, Country Financial, also Rams booster sponsors here on WMIX. And tomorrow's the day that anything could happen. Are you ready? Be ready when you meet with Sarah Staley at Country Financial. Get that one-on-one -on -one relationship at Country Financial. What's your idea of financial security? Nice move underneath. That one actually at the top of the backboard. It's Chantill going to come away with the bucket on the reverse. Rams into the front court. It's into the corner. Baseline side for Floda. Lydell with a deep far wing. Looking to come around through the circle far to near. Gets back to Feaser. 118 mark of the first half. Beezer left-hand dribble, rolls between the circles, coming to the near side, finds Floda off of the arc. Looking to come around, curl off the right-hand dribble, now throws back, Beezer to fifth in the circle. Right arc. There's our man, Shikari Hawkins, big minutes off of the bench in the early going. One minute to play in the first half. Rams 30, Redbirds 20. The Rams are up 10. Lydell comes to Hawkins off of the left wing, the float off the arc near the sideline. 54 seconds to go. Back to Fitzgerald, rolls off of the baseline, has to come back to Fieser. Now looking at Floda will dribble into a free throw jumper, good! The mid-range is back, and Floda now has 14 on the day, it's 
Rams up a dozen at the 38-second mark of this first half. We've had a good one thus far in a pack. CHS and it. Look, looks like there's many seats left to be had. 30 seconds to go in the first half. A decent atmosphere in here. Both team cheerleaders doing a wonderful job. 30, 25 seconds left to go now. Took me five seconds to spit all that out. A roller off of the back iron. That looked to be Parker on the shot. Lydell off of the rebound to Fitz underneath. Block. Clean block. Clean block on Fitz. And here comes Brown off of the rebound. Links the floor off last. No good with nine seconds. Put back by McLemore is there. And it's 32-22 with five seconds. Fitz hurries in the front court. Shovels off to Florida. He'll be fouling the way up with 1.5. Trevor will go back to the line to shoot two. Nearly an identical play where Fitz was cleanly blocked. But Floto will get the foul this time as they got more skin and very little ball. St. Lawrence leads O'Fallon at the half, 23-20. to Scoreboard update presented by Tony Wilt, State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance and financial service needs, find Tony Wilt on the corner of 42nd South Water Tower in Mount Vernon. Or find him online at TonyWilts.com. First free throw is going to rattle off. Floda was kind of holding his wrist after he went down to the ground after the foul. We'll see how he recovers here on shot number two. 1.5 seconds left in this first half. 32-22, the Rams. Lead is double digits. Second one's good. Florida made some adjustments with the wrist. Oh, tries to come after the steal half quarter on the way from Tyrone Parker. It's going to miss off the top of the window. We've reached halftime here in the Annex. The Mount Vernon Rams 33, the Alton Redbirds 22. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX-FM. Mount Vernon, Marion, Effingham, a Withers Broadcasting Superstation. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday sports show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this winter sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. You've heard a lot about the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. About the cozy fireplaces in its patient areas. And about its numerous healing gardens and soothing nature-inspired artwork. Now that the new hospital is finished, you can finally see them for yourself. Good Samaritan is hosting tours of the new hospital on Saturday, January 5th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sunday, January 6th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. This isn't your ordinary open house. It's the opportunity to get a behind-the-scenes glimpse of the brand-new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center before it's open to the public in late January. Come see an operating room from the point of view of the surgeon or the new expanded ER and all private patient rooms. Join us at the new facility just off Veterans Memorial Drive in Mount Vernon on January 5th and 6th for complimentary refreshments and to see how we're raising the bar for health care in Southern Illinois. You've never seen a hospital like this before. Visit smgsi.com to learn more. How does Dale's Harley-Davidson in Mount Vernon stay the longest-running Harley dealer in Southern Illinois? How about free pickup and delivery and being the home of the $29.95 oil change? Plus, get financing as low as 1.5 APR, along with the best selection of certified pre-owned Harley-Davidsons. So now you know how Dale's Harley-Davidson stays number one. Dale's Harley-Davidson, open every day but Wednesday, just off of I-57 in Mount Vernon. Visit dales-hd.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Hi, this is Susan Sahaki with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank is focused on providing the best possible customer service and products to the needs of our customers. If you aren't receiving the products and service you deserve, maybe it's time to make a change. Change the name of your bank for the last time and make the switch to People's National Bank. People's National Bank, proudly serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. This is Rams Basketball on WMIX. The Second Chance Auto Halftime Show starts now. 
Back here at the half, the Mountain and Rams 33, the Alton Redbirds 22. For over 32 years, Second Chance Auto is proud to put families throughout the region in dependable vehicles at reasonable prices. Second Chance Auto, living and contributing to the community they serve, proud to sponsor the Mount Vernon Rams. Chris, you go here at the half, the CHS Annex, of which I love everything about, the lone exception being the lack of cellular reception. So we're trying to get you updated on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. Find all of last night's scores at WMIXSports.com. We're streaming online today, audio only. Video blackout here at Centralia High School. We'll have the same blackout in effect at Salem High School. When it comes time for the Salem Invitational Tournament, really those games, this game here today, any game to have it tonight, and then the following South Southern matchups in Trey High School will be the only Rams basketball games where we will be unable to bring you streaming video. We have the rest for you with high-quality video on WMIXSports.com. 33-22 Rams here at the half. We need to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have your Heartland Accounting halftime stats. But first, Second Chance Auto believes in lasting relationships, and that's why generations of families have continued coming back for over 32 years. It's the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles in one location. Most priced under ten grand. It's Second Chance Auto, proud sponsors of the Mountford and Rams. We'll take a break. This is Rams Basketball presented by Committee First Bank. You're looking for a great quality SUV to get you through the winter, right? Well, Second Chance Auto has never had a better selection. Find SUVs from small to medium to large. Four-wheel drive models, too. Their inventory has never been better. Cars, trucks, vans, and many priced under $10,000. Instant approval with honest deals on great vehicles. Most have a three-month or 3,000-mile warning. And there's bank rate financing for everyone. Make this your best year with a quality SUV from Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Verna. Call 244-4582. I know you've heard about mortgage rates being all-time lows, but have you done anything about it yet? Hi, I'm Rick Pig, mortgage lender at Community First Bank. There's never been a better time at buying a home or refinancing an existing mortgage. The sooner you act, the more you save, and we'll be there to help you through every step of the way. For more information, visit us at comfirstbank.net or stop by one of our five locations. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Daily schedules, scores, video, and more. Log on to WMIXSports.com. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to the CHS Annex. About 4.30 left in this halftime break. Constellation semifinal number one. Number two is actually going on concurrently right now at the CHS Arena. Rams get the winner of that one between O'Fallon and St. Lawrence. Right now the Rams have an 11-point lead at the break, 33-22 over Alton. We'll tell you all about that here in your Heartland Accounting Halftime Scoring. First, for the Redbirds, they are led by three with five. That's 15 points between Abbott Brown, Carlos Sanderson, Aaron Womack. A three ball from Tyrone Parker and two apiece from Larry Gibbons and Aaron Womack. Give them their 22 points. For the Rams, they're led by Trevor Flota's game-high 15. Shikari Hawkins has six off the bench. Can't forget about that crucial eight from starter Braden Fitzgerald. While Travis Mitchell and Michael Fieser have two points apiece. That gives us our halftime score. The Mount for the Rams, 33. The Alton Redbirds, 22. Those stats are calculated by Heartland Accounting. Get started right and let Heartland Accounting help make your business a success. Heartland Accounting, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B, your small business expert. We'll take one more break. It's set for the second half here from the Annex. It's the 70th Annual Centralia Holiday Tournament, Constellation Semifinal. The Mount for the Rams, 33. The Alton Redbirds, 22. This is Rams Basketball, presented by Committee First Bank. We can't believe you missed last week's Saturday Sports Show, presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. To those who tuned in on WMIX or WMIXSports.com, we enjoyed your company. But if you missed the area scores, in-depth interviews with the region's coaches, or missed out on the WMIX Sports question on Twitter and Facebook, the path to forgiveness is easy. Listen to previous Saturday Sports Show episodes on demand at WMIXSports.com. It's that simple. Or next Saturday morning, you could tune in after the 8 o'clock news. Either way, we forget. At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois high school sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Watch Rams basketball on WMIXSports.com. Powered by Dale's Harley-Davidson. Powered by Dale's Harley-Davidson, indeed. Video will return on January the 5th as the Mount Vernon Rams travel to the St. Anthony Shootout. 
They will battle the T-Town Wooden Shoes. That will be a 4 o'clock matchup at that shootout at the Inlow Center. We'll be there with video. We hope you'll join us. Or if you're not able to join us, join us online at WMIXSports.com. That's where we are today. Chris Hugo with you, solo at the moment. DC slated to join me at some point. He had to tend to the Saturday Sports Show this morning. We hope you enjoyed it. I was a rare guest. Never had that happen before. Kind of crazy, but it ended up working out. About a minute 30 before we start the third quarter is 33-22. The Rams up 11 on Alton. The important thing for the Rams going into half number two is not resting on this 11-point lead and losing sight of what's important. That's playing to win instead of playing not to lose. The Rams have had struggles scoring in the second half here, of course, throughout the season. Have had trouble on the neutral court. There are 300 on neutral fours at 3-3. Three and three. In true road games, the Rams have not won one yet. Although the Rams are undefeated at home. They're playing pretty well here today in the Annex where they are 1-0, looking to make it 2-0 in tournament history. One minute before we start this second half, we'll catch you up on scores from today's Centralia Holiday Tournament action. Centralia beat McClure North 54-45. Effingham beat Richards right in front of this game in the Annex 44-41. So Centralia will play Effingham in the fifth place game. Might as well just be the Salem invite today as Centralia battles Effingham. McClure North and Oakland Richards, of course, go home. The Rams looking to battle the winner of St. Lawrence and O'Fallon. St. Lawrence leads O'Fallon at the half by a score of 23-20. to So that's somewhat of a shock, I suppose, as there are many who did not expect St. Lawrence to see a third day. However, they lead O'Fallon. So that's a true testament to the competition in this tournament. We're about to get underway here. The basketball will belong to the Redbirds to start this third quarter via the possession arrow. Avery Barton chime in into the broadcast. The answer to that is absolutely not. 33-22, nothing bad. Just my preference on a question. As we'll get you set here for the second half, presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Familiar faces at new places. Bank with Ray and Bria at Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to Personal Banking. Should you need a loan of any kind, see my man Jared Knapp. Right there off the 42nd Street location at Community First Bank of the Heartland. Find out more about them at comfirstbank.net. We'll start the second half. We will switch sides, moving right to left as you're sitting in the bleachers, of course, or looking at your radio dial, the Redbirds, with the basketball. This could be Anderson handing off of the screen to Brown, up top. Screen. It'll be given to two off the potential assist. It's not one after all, of course, from number 12, Walmart. Rams got the defensive rebound. Here we go. It's Lydell into the front court. Stops top of the key. Hands over to Braden Fitzgerald. Between the leg dribble, the freshman playing like a sophomore or junior here in this CHD. My official friend sitting next to me ditches me. That's not very nice. Must have been something I'd done. As Beezer was looking for the backdoor lob to Pike, who's been pretty quiet today. Turnover. Comes into the front court off the left. That's Larry Givens. They're going to swing it around to Anderson off of the right. Looking in. Three from Parker's on the way, and it's good. Big three to set the tone and start the half for Parker. He has six. It's 33-25. Rams need to hang on here and play with that same first half intensity and hope it's not a roll reversal, of course, for Alton. Good grab by Pike. Scott Gimmer wants the timeout. It's Lydell with the Pike threw it high off the base sideline. Pike was able to grab, and the Rams will take a timeout here. This will be a full timeout. We will keep it here. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Eric Black, the staff, the Medicine Shop, wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. Now, Fallon has picked up the intensity and the pressure here in the second half. Start off with the basketball, but then lost it off a rebound. Rams were able to get it back, but then turned it over underneath looking for a backdoor play. Didn't work out. Now O'Fallon, or excuse me, Alton got a big three from Parker. He has six. Oh, good. Look what the cat brought, dragged in. I do my own schedule. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wait a minute. I see you're just going to add commentary. I have you in the wrong one, don't I? There you go. Did they have it all the way in? Yeah. Oh, well, that happens from time to time. You got score book. So you, want my bu- you want my book or you want me to keep doing the book? Why? Oh, well, I can keep your book if you want. How did the Saturday sports show go this morning? I thought pretty well. Yeah, that's weird. All kinds I've of never been on that end of it. Well, there's been all kinds of interesting things happening this morning in the world of radio. Lovely. Good sports show. Good to see the Rams are up by eight. Here we go. Trying to get back into it. It'll be to Flota off of his feet in the front court. The Rams will turn it over, and that has been the name of it here in the second half, trying to avoid shooting themselves in the feet. 6.57 to play in the third, 33-25. The Redbirds, who basically have had troubles in the second halves of their games thus far in the tournament, are playing pretty well here in quarter three. Off the left, it's Brown. Looking up, stop, good move. 
Gibbons will swing around off the right wing. Looking for the lob play inside. Same thing the Rams did to turn it over on their first possession. The Redbirds do here. Looking underneath and the Rams come up with it. Florida, excuse me, Fitzgerald's in the front court. Hard to confuse the two of them, but I just did. Up top looking into Feeder. Nice save to Pike. Left hand, no. But a foul afterwards. <laughs> Good sportsmanship by Alton to pick Pike up off the ground going into that layup. They went left hand to the right hand side. When you go left hand to the right hand side, he showed a ball to the defender that time. He needed to go up right-handed. That way he could shield his body and shield the defender away. Pike the left. He goes to the line to shoot two. No points in the game. Really no attempts thus far. Got into foul trouble, if I'm not mistaken, a little earlier. 6.32 mark of the third quarter. Pike at the line shooting two. His first one's off the back. Ooh. Ooh. Get you caught up on some scores in just a moment. Of course, Community First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of the Rams and the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase here on WMIX. Time I turn around this week, I've seen Alton. Feels that way, doesn't I've it? I've done all three games. In one capacity or another. Two and a half. Well, yeah. They're Rams get their first point of the half. It's 34-25 off a Pike free throw. Made one of two. Anderson off of the right arc. Parker's going to come around. He has six, two threes on the game. Stripped away at the oh. free throw line. Good move by Lydell. It's recovered by Fitz. What a move. Got the strip, and the Rams go ahead into the front court with the basketball going left to right. I love the annex, DC. The only thing, only gripe I have is cell reception, but to be expected. And this is a very nice facility. Yeah, it's a great place for extra gym to have it right here on campus. That way you don't have to go to the rack or run to the case, run to KC. It allows you to play games here and get it done, and everybody stays in the same location. And that's crucial because everybody's able to park in the same parking lot and just walk back and forth if need be. Fitz with it at the circle, looking off to the left. Almost had it stolen away there, pressuring the freshman. He's trying to keep. Ball was ripped away, and it's recovered by Old Fallon. Givens comes left. Parker thought about the three. Goes left-hand baseline against Feeser. Throws it up strong. Good defense by Feeser. Don't work him ahead to Fitz. Coming up the left side, looking for the layup. Good contortion. Good double pump by the freshman. He has two more. He has ten at 36-25. Two things. A, you got to get back defensively against Alton. Two, you can't dribble in one spot and contain that dribble all the time on offense. You dribble all the time in one spot, Alton will take it away from you. Did a good job of not getting rattled and making up for the mistake, too. 5-13 to play in the third quarter, 36-25. The Rams are back up double digits, but that's going to change. Nice move from right to left by Aaron Walmack. 36-27, they cut it to nine again. Love we'll Renly College player of the game coming up in our post-game show. Renly College can save you thousands on your collegiate education. Find out which program or certificate is right for you at rlc.edu. Pike with it. Deep left side. Throws over the right now for Fitz. Looking off the high post. Uh-oh. Over and back to the Rams. Feeser is looking for Fitz up top. Not quite the wingspan of, Fe- of Feeser, and it's going to be a turnover here on Mount Vernon. He's got to take care of the basketball. It's a five-yard set that Alton runs. We've seen it all week. And now, Alton right now, a little bit of momentum. Still down nine. Can't get it done offensively, though. Well, and the Rams... And- Redbirds both suspect in the second half of time this year. 4.39 to play in the third. It's 36-27. Last check, St. Lawrence was leading O'Fallon by three at the break. Looking at sight. Nice move by Carlos Anderson, but can't finish. Rebound to be tipped out of bounds. Off of Wydell. That's a good pickup on the baseline. Yep. Jeff right Koppel was a very good pickup there. Good peepers, and they'll remain all in basketball. I just saw Jeff Koppel about 12 hours ago at Pinckneyville. Did you really? Yeah. I mean, he's been everywhere I am. Saw this guy here, too. We like, see a lot of these officials frequently. In fact, I saw that official to our left by that very pullover yeah, he's wearing. Exactly. Off the right side. They'll work it left to Anderson from Givens. Brown with a touch over to McLemore. No relation to Mark, I already had. Coming off to the left, it's going to be Givens. He has some Centralia size. 4.08 to play in the third quarter, and we're going to have a foul. Looks like yep. Pike. Pike definitely got a little shove. He did take a bow to, the, to not on a purpose bow, but a moving out bow to make room. But then Pike got a little shove in, and uh, he and Claire from Alton are having a discussion with the official, Mr. Brandon, trying to straighten things out. WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Baza Brown telling his teammate from Alton, uh, enough, you said you're safe. <laughs> Pike, no play. Great leader here for the Redbirds. Had a good tournament last year, playing pretty well. So you may not see a lot of it in the scoring column. 4.05 to play in the third quarter. Alton with the basketball. Putting together some half-court offense here at the four-minute mark. Down nine. The Redbirds need a bucket. Brown looks off to the right for McLemore. Tried to pull up against Floda. Now, Brown in the lane. It's going to be blocked from behind by Feaser. That's kind of an anticipation call there as the whistle blew before the contact. Yeah, that's one of those. It's, you know, waving everybody to come in. Everybody's probably wondering why I'm late. But 
Alton right now, again, same situation. They led against Effingham, did okay. Then they get a lead, and then they figure out things. Now they're stagnant offensively. I think still not maybe in a flow yet this morning. But we've seen a couple stretches in their first two games. Ground three of three at the free throw line. Now has six, looking for seven. Eight-point game. That's been about the mean of where the Rams have been, more like the mode as far as the lead today. 18-10 after one. They led 20, I don't know, 20 to 12 at one point as well. I guess that makes sense if both teams scored a bucket into the second quarter to start. Nonetheless, makes both free throws. Lead shrinks to seven. They have Florida wide open off the right arc. They need to push it left. I'm watching you, and I agree. Shari Hawkins had six points off the bench. He's back into the ball game. Feeser looks for him off the left-hand bounce. We knew it was going that way. It's going to be Lydell in the corner. Back to Buda near the timeline. That's Shakari Hawkins. At the circle, cuts back left, gives to Lydell. Nice spin move. Shakes two defenders, hands off the feeds, and the Rams will squander that advantage. As Hawkins is looking to go back door to Lydell, it's going to be stolen away by Anderson. He'll bring it length. And that's going to be a... T- nope, it's going to be blocked. Yep, it was a block. Feeser didn't get there in time. In fact, was moving. And now, possible three-point play, and Alton is grinding their way back into this. Mount Vernon to me having listened to you on the way here and now watching this quarter, seem to be a little bit more passive offensively, not attacking the basket here in this third quarter. They are definitely not. 318 mark of the third. Anderson at the line shooting two, and he did a great job when he got to the basket, I thought, of when he carried the basketball, shooting the and one, actually. He carried the basketball, but he'd already left the ground. And had he still had that foot on the ground, you know, could have probably been a carry when he came back, but just did a great job contorting. 36-32, just like that, the Redbirds are back within four. Something like that. They're swarming right now. Their defensive intensity has picked up in the last couple trips. They've really pressured the last few trips down the floor, and this is going to be out of bounds off of all, and it'll be white basketball underneath. Feaser lost it underneath, and Rams had some issues, but he did a good job of getting back into the play and getting the ball back to the Rams. 2.55 to play in the third quarter. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of the Rams with five Jefferson County branches and response to quality service for all of your accounts. Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Bank, you member FDIC. Off of the right, it is going to be Feaser handing off to Lydell. Trying to come around right, good job by McLemore to shut off the baseline. Florida with a deep right wing, spins left off the dribble, hands to Fitzgerald. At the circle now, the Rams having some issues, only up four. Shikari a nice big, oh, oh look at that move. That is big. That's a mid-range jumper. Stop that bleeding a little bit. Get Mount Vernon back up by six. Shook the defender and nailed the shot. It's 38-32. The Rams are back up six. 2.20 to play in the third. Good move by Brown. That guy is good. Givens gives it back to Brown off the left wing after they went top for a touch. Trying to get the screen for McLemore. Yep. And thank you. Yep. yep. Fitzgerald's in there bodying around with Alton player number 13, McLemore. And you can see it was coming. And it was like on the playground. First guy in, didn't get anything. Second guy of retaliation came back. Well, no. Freshman playing the McLemore right there. Yeah. And that's going to typically happen that way when the second man in is usually a little bit stronger than the first. I love Brown. I love Abaza Brown for Elton. He is one of the genuine kids that play this game right reasons, right way. You can see it the way he was approaching the official asking what happened. Great leader for these Redbirds. The senior this year going to be missed. Oh, and a nice play by Anderson to try to tip it away into the Ram bench, trying to force the turnover, or at least disrupt this Ram momentum. They're up 6, 38-32, 2 of 2 mark in the third quarter. We're getting a feel with Alton. They're going to pressure up and down. The key is, is if they start getting away from the inside step, the penetration, if they get away from that and start relying on the outside jump, they're going to have to be hot in order to get a lead in this game. Loader with it, right of the circle, off of the inbound. 155 to play in the third quarter. Left of the circle now is Lydell. Floated in the cut to the left wing. Opens up Fitzgerald's off of the right wing. Trying to work a paint play here. You can see it. Fitz is trying to work inside. Brown, or excuse me, Parker doing a great job on him. Pockets with it at the circle. They look left side. Lydell, but there's Givens there to greet. Pretty good man thus far by all. But they look inside. It's going to be tipped away again. This time it's Brown. And Gosh, you love, you got to love Brown. Here's the thing, too. You cannot make those long passes. This Alton team is so athletic, and I think what helps them is their length a little bit, too. Not very tall, but their length, and they are everywhere. You're really going to have to move about the basketball and cut down on the length of your passes because they're going to get the passes a lot of teams Mount Vernon play don't get to during a game. 
course, it's going to be Shakari Hawkins off of the inbound. Got it off right arc. Slips, but gets it to Fitz off of the wing. Left side. Back to the right now for Hawkins. Minute 22 to play in the third. It's a bounce pass to Florida left of the circle. Rolls between the rings and hands off. Just a shovel off. And this is going to be stolen away by Gibbons. A half court layup is going to be good. Good turnover in the point for Gibbons. He has four and it's 38-34. Got to be careful. Alton's got a lot of momentum. They're starting to sell, sit the Rams out, pushing them further and further away from the basket. Less than a minute to play in the third. Florida with it off the right wing. going to curl around right. Lost his defender, and he goes up. And should send Florida to the line to shoot two and on the offensive foul. Prime example here. Chris, Mount Vernon's usually the big dog on the block around Southern Illinois. They're in 3A. You can see the difference from 3A to 4A, the speed of the game, the strength of the game, the athleticism jumps from 3A to 4A. It does immensely. The Rams are being outscored here 12 to 5. To make it 12 to 6, and the man defense from Alton has really basically not allowed Trevor Flo to make many moves to the bucket, in which he's been successful today. Had two trades in the first quarter. Has relied on free throws ever since after they tightened up the D. Makes one at two. Made the front end this time. It's 39-34. The Ram lead is back to five. Left side, wide open three for Gibbons. It's going to be right off of the iron. Rebound tipped two feet. A good job by Lydell. Didn't have much of a shot at the rebound, not being one of the taller timbers out there, but Feeds are able to get a piece of it. 36 seconds to go in the third. It's 39-34 Rams. They go to Florida, who loses out of bounds. He just fell it. down. They got tangled up. Feeds got caught on a board or something. Look like now we got technical. Yeah. Aaron, a referee, came in and saw a technical off the ball. It's going to be on number 12. Oh, I thought it was on 13, Macklemore. No, Macklemore or 12, one of the two. We'll, we'll see. see. Away from the ball, and something was going on. We'll see if the official walks in and see what's going on. There was some sassin, maybe, maybe some pre-New Year's Eve greetings. It was on number 12. So okay. I can see Brown going over and talking to him. Aaron Walmack. Aaron Walmack got caught. And okay. the coach from Alton wanting to find out, Eric Smith, what happened, what went on. And what's the deal? But there was a technical foul away from the ball. This is a huge play and call in this game. Eric Smith is not arguing. He is not arguing with oh. the official at all. So I think he pretty well understands what the situation is. The Rams will rely on Florida, who misses the first. Has another one here on the technical shot. The technical foul was called on number 12, Aaron Walmack. And yeah, there's he's been a little mouthy today. Well, and again, you're going to have that. He got missed both foul shots. And you're going to have that in a game at this level. I don't care what anybody says. Trash talking something not involved. You don't want to do it, but it's always happening at every level of the game. Rams will have the basketball as they miss both free throws. 39-34, five-point lead. This won't hurt. Oh, it won't hurt all as much as you might think it is. I'm going to say O'Fallon because after three, St. Louis leads the Panthers 43-34. They've thrown that lead to nine. After the third quarter. Burbank is much improved than the last team they brought last year in the CHC. They are indeed. Inbound goes into the backcourt for Lydell. Looking to work out the left side. Deep left wing for Florida with a right-hand dribble. 24 seconds to play in the quarter. The Ram lead only five after being 11 for a time. Great give and go there with Florida and Feeds, and we're going to have a reach in. I think what you'll start seeing now is the officials throwing the chippiness going on. They're going to start calling it tighter as we go down the stretch in this one. Officials in today's game doing a great job. Brandon Koppel and, of course, Mr. Wright. 17 and a half seconds to play in the third quarter. It's 39-34. It's five years ago on this very day. The Rams were playing in the 10 o'clock game, I believe it was. Make it the 8.30 game at KC. Jeff Koppel, one of the officials on that one. Between the circles, it is Braden Fitzgerald. Ten seconds to play in the quarter. 39-34, Rams are up five. Looking to make a move to the right, it's Braden. Stops, throws up a two, no good. Rebound, we tipped away, and Alton won't get the shot off. We have reached the end of the third quarter. The Mountford and Rams 39, the Alton Redbirds 34. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Begin with full contact coal miner training at Red Lake College. Learn in our new 20,000 square feet coal mine training center. Use real equipment like continuous miners and power centers. And check out the new mine rescue and fire safety training tunnel. Associate degree and occupational certificates available. We're full contact, hands-on coal mining. Real equipment. 
real live all the time. What are you waiting for? Call 618-437-5321 and get started. You're looking for a great quality SUV to get you through the winter, right? Well, Second Chance Auto has never had a better selection. Find SUVs from small to medium to large. Four-wheel drive models, too. Their inventory has never been better. Cars, trucks, vans, and many priced under $10,000. Instant approval with honest deals on great vehicles. Most have a three-month or 3,000-mile warning. And there's bank rate financing for everyone. Make this your best year with a quality SUV from Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. The best basketball coverage is heard here. This is WMIX-FM Mount Vernon and worldwide at WMIXSports.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. Top of the 11 o'clock hour. If you're looking for the 94 News at 11, Reese Barnfield has that for you on AM 940. Mount Vernon Rams basketball here on the FM. The Rams will start the fourth quarter with the lead and the Rock at 39-34. Beads are trapped against the right sideline, and a great job there. Throws it out of bounds off of Aaron Brown, not Brown. This Aaron defense Walmart. by Alton is, I have watched him now three games, and they can just flag it after in the half court, trapping on the sideline. They're trapping now on the wings in the corner. The Rams have been dangerous with the passing as they turn the ball over off of the inbound. They tried to scoop to the left side. Doesn't work out. Seven points to play in the fourth. Big turnover here. Big opportunity for the Redbirds down five, 39-34. Nice feed down low, and that is going to be a block. Yeah, it's a block. It was on the floor, though, before the shot. Yeah, the contact for the shot. The deal was they slipped the pick and roll. They didn't go with it. They slipped screen off, and they got to the rim. Luckily, the ball the foul was on the floor before because the, the shot was made. Pretty First Bank of the Heartland with five locations in Mount Vernon, Dick, Sina, and Woodlock. Pretty First Bank are proud to be the official voice of basketball on WMIX. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 7-27 to play in the fourth. Alton with the basketball. They trail by five. Looking to make a move to the right. That is Tyrone Parker. Had a couple of threes earlier. Been quiet since. Off of the right wing. It's going to be handoff to Abbott Brown. Back off to the right. That's going to be Parker. Now a kick over to the left. Good skip pass to Brown. Eyes up. Somebody coming underneath. Into the corner. That's going to be Carlos Anderson. Where are the Rams in? Match up 2-3. Here it comes off the left. Baseline Brown with the jumper. Made it look easy. 6.50 to play here in the fourth. The Ram lead has dropped to one possession. 39-36. Pressure here from Alton in the backcourt. Feeds are a dangerous pass to be tipped out of bounds off of Mount Vernon. And the Rams down here playing not to lose. Yeah, they're tightening up and they're not being the aggressive team by listening to you in the first half. Especially on the offensive end. So this is what happened. And we're seeing it again here in the annex today. 6.39 to play in the fourth quarter. It's 39-36. Alton into the front court. Brown with it off of the right wing. They look up top to Parker. Looking left side now for Hill. Lob up ahead to Anderson. Looking back door for Womack. Yeah. Bucket's good. They're back within one just like that. Womack has four in the second half. Nice play. The side in the back court. Looking to make a move. Trapped off of the double team. Lobs up ahead to He'll go left. He's in the defender. The bucket. That'll help. Pike got behind him. Alton didn't pay attention to the back side. Mount Vernon gets an easy layup. Six minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. 41-38. The Ram lead is back to three. Pull up three to tie coming from Brown. It's going to be short. Not the shot they wanted, but Brown saw the opportunity and took it. Hard to argue with a player like that. Off the left, fit to three. Yep, there you go. Be aggressive. When you have the opportunity offensively, get it down the floor and take an opportunity like that. Fit knocks down the big three. Rams are back up six just like that. 536 mark of the fourth quarter. Oh, no. Knocked down at the timeline. Looks like it was Fitzgerald. They'll have to get back up. Looks a little sluggish. Wow. Brown leans in. His scoop layup. Good. Brown picks up two more in the quarter, and it's 44-40. Yikes. Double forearm shiver at half court. Can't do it without Sarah Staley and Country Financial. We appreciate the support of Country Financial agent Mount Vernon, Sarah Staley. Nope. And to meet your goals with your country financial representative. It'll be turned over off of the right side by the Rams. Coming up, it'll be Brown. Leans in. Foul. Bucket. No. The foul will be underneath, and this one's gotten a little sloppy. Well, it's gotten a little sloppy, and Fitz took that screen out of half court. Kind of got where his size and where he ends up with McLemore. Or Womack ends up. Womack kind of Mac, Womack took his arms out. Got Fitz with a pretty good shot. you got some tired players on the floor right now. Alton's got several kids pulling on the short. 
This is a battle here with five to go in this game. Battle indeed. 5-0-1 to go, 44-40. At the line, shooting two is Abbott Brown, who has been solid here in the ballgame. First free throw is good. He'll have a number. Right now, possession. One possession, and Brown's been the key to keep everything in check. Oh, this is one of two Constellation semis going on right now. The other one going on in the arena as they play the semis for both at the same time. Kind of wonder how you're, you kind of had to scout the days before. Yep. That's one of the challenges. I love that setup, though. Makes it work a little harder. Shikari Hawkins checked in. It's talking spit. The dangerous pass trying to go across. Going away. Parker. Beezer gets it right back. Off of the interception. They go left side. And they go to Beezer. Intercepted by Anderson. Layup to tie. It's good in the foul. Mount Vernon's attacking the middle of the floor. That's where all the red jerseys are at. You can't attack the middle of the floor. When you get that thing in, the sidelines are open. From our angle, you can see it very well sitting here on the baseline. You got to get, if you get it into the middle, it's got to go up the sides because Alton is making, taking the middle away from them. If you go up the sides, it has to go quick side before they get the trap and then back to the middle on the front court. 4.48 to play in the fourth. 44-44. We are deadlocked as we near the midway point. Here's Scott Gamber delivering some instruction. And Anthony one, no good. good. Said, by the way. Nice. Unless we know you're accurate. 445 and know the program. Coming up the left side, Lydell into the front court. As it's stolen away, tipped out of bounds, however, by number three, Chance Hill. This smaller floor helps Alton. I'm not saying it's a smaller floor. It's a regular size, regular size floor. It just feels smaller with a small building around it compared to the arena. One of those deals, you got to take care of the basketball and move the basketball. Don't dribble in one spot, and then you have to move without the ball. Rams are having trouble with the passing lanes. Off doing a pretty good job of taking those away. They're going with it off the left side. Big three if it goes. No, it's going to be short. Rebound underneath. We'll go to Parker. Left it short. Now Florida forces a turnover. Maintains the dribble with the left hand. He's going to let the numbers catch up. Tries to throw the fits up, and it's turned over. Good play. Mack was blocked out of bounds by Feaser, and Alton will inbound underneath their own basket. That was a good play by Feaser. Come out weak side, trailing him much like LeBron James does. Trails the play up, got a hand over, didn't touch the body. Rimley College will have our player of the game coming up at our postgame show. Rimley College is over 100 degree and certificate programs for South. Just find out which one is right for you at rlc.edu. The inbound came into the near wing. That was Brown looked over the right side for Parker. At 44, 402 to play in the fourth. Brown coming from the left. Runner is going to be so good. Rebound the back door wow. to Parker. No, this is the second time. This will be out of bounds. Off of the ramp. Go back to Mount Vernon. They're going to say it's off of Alton. I saw that go off of the shoulder of Jeremy Lydell. Rams get a break. Need to make the most of it. In the backcourt. Pike with it in the backcourt. Left hand across the timeline. Left takes it, length the floor. Layup's not going to count. Because it won't fall. But there's going to be a blocking foul on McLemore underneath. He can't believe it. He better get up. It was a blocking foul. He was not set from our angle. Good call by the official. All stars and stitches. Heck, if you can put a logo on it, they can probably print it for your school, company, or organization. Find out about their apparel, banners, and signs and awards. See Big Dave at All Stars and Stitches. Just west of Benson High School. Call 435-5555. I just got to ask about services on Bogdan's social media. Well, here in the annex, it is impossible. We're really... The oh, yeah, I got to shut down here on the school campus. I had to text you to tweet scores earlier. Yeah. So we'll we get can... stuff on later. If you want to know on Facebook.com slash Sports or on Twitter at Sports, we will get you caught up on things and scoring and updates and results as we move over to the arena for the rest of the day. Pike to the line to shoot two. He had three in the game. First one is good at home. Locked this tie. It's 45-44. Rams on top. Winner gets St. Lawrence. Loser's done. Wow. Well, Fallon does not get a trophy. Is it over? Oh, I don't know. I thought you said she gets St. Lawrence. Oh. Maybe that's a Freudian clip. Yeah, okay. I know. The, I thought you said they were. I was assuming <laughs> they won. Whoops. 46-44. Rams on top. 337 to play in the fourth. All made a comeback yesterday. Not out of the realm of possibility today. And off the right, we're going to have a touch foul on the floor on Lydell. And it was. He was handsy on him, guiding him with a hand on the hip. So it will be a one and one. Rams outscored here. 12 to 7 in the fourth quarter. It was 39-44 after three. 3.32 to play in the fourth. 
Parker's at the line as the crowd silences. Probably we're the only voices to be heard right now, and it's good on the first off the one and bonus. Well, I've seen this close to the floor. I'm amazed. These referees have these nice, shiny leather shoes. Man, oh, man, they got them sharp today. Nobody wears the same kind anymore. Now, very little variety. Second free throw is good. We're tied at 46 again. Basketball still in the way. Parker didn't. Nope. Slides it back in. Oh, he's the lead. Rams lose the lead. We have a timeout presented by the Medicine Shop. 23-39 Broadway, Mount Vernon. Oh. And the Rams lose the lead. They lose control here in the second half. 48-46. Eric Black and the staff the Medicine Shop wish you a healthy season. Danny Zarensky alongside. I'm Chris Shuko on WMIX. Avery Barton back at our Mount Vernon studios. Helping keep us on WMIXFM and WMIXSports.com. Danny the Rams has just kind of lost any sorts of momentum here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, any sort of momentum is gone. And Alton has battled their way back into a very good, I think, Alton team that's got a lot of potential season goes on. And Mount Vernon is going to have to battle in order to get back into the lead here because they are passive offensively and not being aggressive, letting that defense come attack them. 324 remains in the fourth quarter. 48-46. Redbirds on top. Rams with the length of the floor inbound. That'll be Pike Rigger. Get a look into the right side for Lydell. Matched up against Gibbons. Deep in the backcourt. 322 to play in the fourth. 48-46 Redbirds. Rams with the basketball. Moving left to right. Florida with right wing. Back to the circle for Lydell. Looks to the left elbow for Pike. Give and go. It's going to be off of a roll. Comes around to the baseline. He's blocked. Oh. Yeah, big rebound for the good. Redbirds. Here comes Alton looking inside. That's going to be Carlos Anderson against Florida to extend the lead to four. No, the rebound will be tipped away. Good rebound there. It'll be Parker in the corner of Brown. 2.48 to play fourth quarter. Rams basketball going to buy Community First Bank. The five locations, Mount Vernon, Dick Sign on Community First Bank. Proud to be the official voice of the Rams. 2.39 to go. Parker's going to roll around top of the key. Looks for Anderson left wing. They're going to settle for... Walmack coming around left. Off the elbow, throws up at the 2.28 mark of this fourth quarter. We're on Twitter, at WMIX Sports. We're trying to get you updated. Lack of a cell signal has kind of been prohibitive for us here in the NX. Great facility, though. Anderson coming around off of Fitch. Leans in against Beezer, gets the bucket. Anderson has four in the quarter. They extend the lead, 50-46. to 46. Rams just did not break this pressure. They're having major issues. Florida wide open for the right. Can't control the rock. Looking inside Feaser. But I have to turn around. Goes opposite way. Good bucket by Michael. Tough shot. Went in. Went right shoulder, right hand. Off the right block. 150 to play in the fourth quarter. Brown in the backcourt for the Redbirds. Cross the timeline. Steps up top. Throws over to Anderson. It's a minute 44 mark of the fourth. 50-48. Alton on top. They have outscored the Rams big in this fourth quarter. Parker with it off the wing. Left side, looking to roll to the right. Comes back to the left. Going to get a screen. No. It's going to set Walmack up to the top. They'll kick out. Three on the way from Parker. No good off the flop. Rebound to the back door for Floater. The Rams have a chance. Let's see what the Rams do here. Coming up the left side with Pike. Going to have to watch the trail defender. Pike's going to go baseline. Leans in. He's blocked. Clean block by Anderson. No call underneath, and that's a good call. Brown, no call. Yep, good no call. Brown from Alton will walk it up. Alton by two. Mount Vernon will have to decide how long they want to go without fouling. Ranch blew an opportunity. We're going to time out by Alton. They just wanted to get into the front court when they called the timeout. Timeout presented by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. They wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. 101 to play in the fourth. 40, excuse me, 50 to 48 is the Alton lead, and the Redbirds have outscored the Rams 16 to 9 here in this fourth quarter to have a two point lead. Been a rough second half for the Rams. All the team, kind of like the Rams today, that struggled in the second half, but today it's been the direct antithesis of the Alton team well, we saw the past two days. Alton has been the aggressor. And Mount Vernon, the, from what I've seen this second half, listening to you on the way up there after Saturday sports show, Mount Vernon has been very passive. That's kind of a pattern that's been going on lately for Mount Vernon is in the second half, becoming a lot more passive, laying back, letting the other team get back in it, and Mount Vernon kind of watching the clock tick. And that's a problem right now. In other games, you might be able to get away with that. But here today against Alton, if you're not aggressive, they're going to take you to the woodshed because like sharks in water with blood, 
They are really pounding the pressure on Mount Vernon. 101 to play in the fourth quarter. DHS and X Constellation Semifinal of the 70th Centralia Holiday Tournament. Video returns on January 5th at St. Anthony when the Rams will battle the T-Town Wooden Shoes. It will be fueled by Dale Charlie Davidson. Find out more about Dale's and their parties every week at dales-hc.com or follow them on Twitter and Facebook. 101 to play. Side of the bounds for Brown and the Redbirds. This is the backcourt to Parker. All moving right to left. Trying to move it in the left court. Trying to guide traffic as Parker. Not their typical ball handle. It's usually Brown. Less than a minute to play here in the fourth quarter. It's 50-48. Rams are down to trying to get that sense of urgency. Pike will come out to meet Brown. Getting the turnover. Nope, it's going to be tip gets It'll be to Pike. Beezer got the tip it with the Pike at the free throw line in the backcourt with 40 seconds. Lydell across the timeline right of the circle. Gamber will mark the play. Lydell will veer off to the left. It'll be to Flota. Flota's going to come around off the right, working to the top. Leans in. Kicks out. Three on the way from Pike to the lead. Yes! And it puts the Rams up one, 51, 50 on a big three by Jake Pike with 27 seconds. Dribble penetration down the lane, kicked it out to Pike. Pike knocked that down in the face of a defender flying at him. Wasn't close enough to disrupt the shot, and what a big three by Jake Pike. They call him nails, but I'll have to write down another nickname for you. 27.1 seconds left to go here in the fourth. The Rams back up one, 51-50. Over the Redbirds, the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Check out King City Chrysler, your Jeep headquarters in Southern Illinois at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Like their counterparts at Ford Square, you can also schedule your service appointments online. Their website is kingcitychrysler.com. Timeout on the floor, of course, is presented by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Ooh, Eric Black and the staff there at the Medicine Shop wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. Big three off to the left sideline. Make it right from our perspective. It'd be right from the Leach perspective as well. Right sideline for Jake Pike puts the Rams back on top, 51-50, and that's what the Rams needed. Man, that's big. Now with 27 seconds left, Alton will probably will go for the final shot. How aggressive will Mount Vernon be as far as if they go gap defense, they try to jump out in the passing lane, take a chance, or are they going to settle back and play their defense? Pike drained the three with about 28 seconds. Clock stops 27.1 off the timeout, human nature, of course. The Pike did not actually drain it at 27.1, he drained it at 28. 51-50, Rams by one. Link to the floor inbound, coming out of the timeout for the Redbirds. Deep in the backcourt with 25 seconds, Brown with the basketball. On the backcourt, crosses the timeline, near side of the circle with 19. Cuts back to the right with 18. Now looks off the sideline for Parker. We're going to come baseline. So the basketball keeps his dribble with 14. Heads to the far wing. Looking across back right. They're going to work Anderson down low off the double team. He's going to work his way around. Blocked from behind by Florida. Keeps his own rebound. Puts it up. Blocked by Florida again. Out of bounds. And the basketball will stay with Alton with three seconds. Never got touched. He went to the ground, but he got hit on the ball. Wasn't a foul. I mean, Trevor. we can see it from here. From other angles, it looked like a foul. Three seconds to a win. Alton surprisingly not calling timeout. They're going to say the ball's out of bounds in front of the Alton bench on the side. Three minutes, three seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. The Rams up one, 51-50 timeout. Alton, this timeout's presented by the Medicine Shop. 23-39 Broadway in Mount Vernon. This one's turned into an instant classic. As, you, as soon as you think Jake Pike is your clutch player of the game with the three, Trevor Flota makes two, two clean, huge blocks underneath against Alton. And now they'll have to reset in the corner kick. It'll be side out of bounds right in front of their own bench on the far sideline from our view. Three seconds to go in the fourth quarter. 51-50 is your Ram lead. That does not change the fact, win or lose, the Rams have been outscored 17-12 to here in the fourth quarter. It's really not a big differential now as the Rams are caught back up. But still, when you think about it, this future fourth quarter has haunted the Rams. Again, they laid back and let him go. Unfortunately for Mount Vernon, they only have a one-point lead. Part is you have three seconds to play defense. Because with the odd number, it's either going to be a win or a loss. That's the way it is. At last check, after three, St. Lawrence was leading O'Fallon 43-34. We'll try to get you a final from that one in just a moment. Three seconds left here. Still plenty of time for the Redbirds to get a win. They trail 51-50 to the Rams. If the Rams win, we're back on the air tonight around 445. Make it 545 for a 6 o'clock Constellation Championship. If not, we're on X95 most of the day. 
Three seconds to play. They're going to come around left side in the corner. Stepping out of bounds, of course, what's given. They will look inside with five. It's Parker at the buzzer. It's going to be off the mark. Tip back won't count. Tip back shouldn't. They're going to count the tip back off the buzzer, and Alton beats the Rams 52-51. They count the tip back at the buzzer, and the Rams are going to lose here 52-51. Wow. They are going to count the tip back at the buzzer. Uh-oh. 52-51. Wow. They're going to count the tip back at the buzzer 52-51. And the Redbirds will play tonight in the Constellation Championship, probably against St. Lawrence. The Rams reign in this Centralia Holiday Tournament is done. And they will walk off in their final CHT game, falling 52-51. to So, um, a good sit back at the buzzer. We'll tell you all about the Schmidt Triple A Cadillac postgame show. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. With two new hospitals, trusted physicians, and dedicated staff, it's clear that our local healthcare industry is helping to make our community stronger every day. Hi, I'm Terry Prosize, a commercial lender and healthcare banking specialist at Community First Bank. I'm putting over 20 years of healthcare and business experience to work for our medical community and local businesses. Whether you have an expanding physician practice, an existing business, or hoping to start a new business, I have the financial prescription for you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Network. How does Dale's Harley Davidson in Mount Vernon stay the longest running Harley dealer in Southern Illinois? How about free pickup and delivery and being the home of the $29.95 oil change? Plus, get financing as low as $1. 0.5 APR, along with the best selection of certified pre-owned Harley-Davidsons. So now you know how Dale's Harley-Davidson stays number one. Dale's Harley-Davidson, open every day but Wednesday, just off of I-57 in Mount Vernon. Visit dales-hd.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just how big of a Saluki fan are you? People's National Bank is challenging your fanhood. Show your Saluki colors by opening a Southern Illinois University Saluki free checking account exclusively at People's National Bank. It only takes $100 to open. Your first box of Saluki checks is free and Visa check card. Online banking and bill pay are free too. Stop by People's National Bank today to find out more. People's National Bank, official home of Saluki checking. Member FDIC, non-usage fees may apply. It's the most special time of the year, so all the physicians and staff at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois want to take a moment to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. They take pride in the fact that the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois has provided exceptional service to their patients for over 35 years, gaining national and international recognition in the field of arthroscopy. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois at 4121 Veterans Memorial Drive, Mount Vernon. More Americans are on a move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View in Mount Vernon, wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call Page Insurance at 242-7000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this winter sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. This is Rams basketball on WMIX, the Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show starts now. And we welcome you back to the CHS Annex, the consolation semifinal in the books from the 70th annual Century Holiday Tournament. A tip in at the buzzer by, we believe, Aaron Walmack. It all happened so quickly off of the left block. Gives Alton the win as it counts, 52 to 51. Alton will presumably play St. Lawrence in the Constellation Championship tonight. St. Lawrence is up 12 with seconds remaining in the arena. So that's your Constellation at 6 o'clock. The Rams are done here at the CHT. Done. Tough way to lose. I mean, it, it's tough way to lose, tough way to go, tough way to end it here like that. You're leading with three seconds left. Alton got a good look on the right wing. It bounces off. It hits the rim. It comes back to Womack, we believe, and the events of events that were going on. 
he gets it and sticks it right back in. Obviously, there's questions, there's emotions, there's issues, you know, going on. But to me, and we'll go look at the videotape. I mean, you know, we had one last night sensibly. We have one here at Centralia today. It's just one of those things. It's, it's a basketball call. high school call. It's a judgment call. You have to deal with it and handle it the way it is. Well, and you know, and you know what, heck. Right. Here's the way I see it. Maybe I've just grown up over the past six years. It's a judgment call. It's, you rely on their eyes and what they're watching. It's not only that. If you want to go that route, you might as well go the route. You know the three is coming from the far wing. You know it's probably going to be short or long. Nobody came to the backside to get to try to get the rebound for the Rams. It was a wide-open rebound both times, and that allowed for the easy tip-in. It really wasn't a hard play. It was an easy tip-in. So if you're going to blame the officials, you might as well blame the defense as well. Right. And I know you're dealing with high school kids. You never want to place to blame the high school kids. I don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying don't point fingers right now. You know, it's a tough loss. It's a tough way to play your last in Trey Holiday tournament game. 52-51 the final. And, and it hurt. I mean, it's one of those deals. I mean, we saw it last night. We saw it in another tournament, and we see it here. Unless you're out there in those shoes and stripes, you don't know exactly the pressure you got to go through to hear, listen, see the ball see it released you don't have the, the joy of the red lights on the backboard well, when the horn goes off it's just the way it is it's high school basketball as it is it goes well, on and you wave it off you have Alton upset you count it you have Mount Vernon upset right. that's going to be mad lose situation yeah because the shot went down so at that point like you said half the gym's going to be mad half the gym's going to be happy it's a matter of the red's going to be happy the orange is going to be happy well and I know most from our city of license are looking for us to probably be a little upset but can't really be that way. This is your Smith Triple A Cadillac Post Game Show. Rams lose a close one, 52 to 51 to Alton. Alton will probably play St. Lawrence in the Constellation Championship tonight in the arena. If you want to follow that game, you can listen to it on our sister station X95 tonight and online at mywithersradio.com. We'll take a break, come back with your Heartland Accounting story. This is the Smith Triple A Cadillac Post Game Show on WMIX. I'm Andy Robb with a look at your next rad weather. This afternoon, clouds giving way to sunshine, cold for a high 31. Mostly clear and cold tonight, low 12. Chilly with sunshine mixing with clouds Sunday, high 32. Tomorrow night, cloudy, low 24. A mix of snowfall and rain for your Monday, accumulating 1 to 3 inches, high 37. And for Tuesday, high 29. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Have you ever stopped to think about how much time we do not have during the day? Hi, Roy Schmidt, Ford dealer at Ford Square and Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler, Mount Vernon. How often do you forget to make that phone call for an oil change or to schedule a tune-up? I'm excited to tell you that you can schedule your service appointments online at Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Whether the workday is too chaotic to pick up the phone or basketball practice just won't allow you to stop by, we have you covered. Log on to FordSquare.com or KingCityChrysler.com to schedule your service appointment. Or, if you prefer to hear a friendly voice, feel free to call us anytime. We've made amazing quality service unbelievably easy at Ford Square and King City Chrysler Center, Mount Vernon. You can count on us. Also, find us on Facebook and Twitter. This is Rams Basketball on WMIX. Powered by Community First Bank. And it's a final. It was a close one here in the annex. The Rams fall 52-51 to the Alton Redbirds. And many will probably be crying controversy for quite some time. But a tip in at the buzzer counts. And there's nothing more you can do about that. So Alton moves on to the Constellation Championship tonight in the castle at the CHS Arena. Get started right. Let Heartland Accounting help make your business a success. Heartland Accounting, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B, your small business expert. Well, there you go. Let's check out that scoring here for Alton, the winners tonight. Abyssa Brown had an official 13. Carlos Anderson with 12. Nine from Walmack. A big deuce from Tyler McLemore in the early going gave them the original lead. Four from Larry Gibbons, of course, and that gives them their 52. For the Rams, they were led in scoring by Trevor Flota's game high 16. Jake Pike was big in the fourth quarter. He actually drained the three that put the Rams up 51-50. And, uh, Let's see, what else do we have? I'm, I need to get through the scoring, I suppose. That'd be the best idea well, first. Eight yeah. points, of course, from Jake Pike. Eight points from Shakari Hawkins off of the bench. Uh, four points from Michael Feeser. Two from Travis Mitchell. Thirteen, a big 13 for Braden Fitzgerald. Gives the Rams their 51. And that's your final score, all 52. So, 
Mount Vernon 50 watts. Mount Vernon has lost two or three games this week, twice on last second shots, and by a total of four points. Yep. Tough way to lose, but sometimes that happens. Salton is going to try to represent this side of the bracket well against St. Lawrence. And you're kind of hoping either for Alton or Mount Vernon to play O'Fallon in terms of gate, in terms of interest, in terms of that. But St. Lawrence, a big comeback. Of course, they got 50 from Schick last night. Use that momentum today to beat the O'Fallon Panthers in the CHS Arena. We have one more facet of this program left to bring you. Well, actually, two. We'll get you a scoreboard update one final time. We will also get you your Rimley College player of the game as we have a beautiful new little assistant with us to our left here in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. This is your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac post-game show brought to you by Schmidt Chevrolet and Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac. When we come back, we'll have plenty more for you on the post-game. Mount Vernon falls to Alton 52-51. to If you're tired of big corporate banking, you do have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams and they are at home with two locations in Mount Vernon, Dix, Ina, and Woodlawn. Welcome back to Personal Banking member FDIC. We're back after this. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Give the gift of health for Christmas at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. If sitting and standing are a challenge, a little lift goes a long way. The Medicine Shop carries a variety of lift chairs that lift and recline. Our home medical department offers so much more. We carry everything from stair lifts to scooters, wheelchairs to walkers. Are you worried about an elderly loved one living alone? Ask about the 911 emergency alert system. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. These devices are very uh, small and size and that becomes the microphone through which you can speak. You don't have to be near a certain phone. You don't have to be near a certain intercom. It goes with you. The 911 emergency alert system is water resistant and there are no monthly fees. Not sure what to buy? We now offer gift cards that can be used for any product or service in the store. And from our family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Medicine Shop, 2339 West Broadway in Mount Vernon. Worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX-FM. Mount Vernon, Carbondale, and all of Southern Illinois. A Withers Broadcasting Superstation. How does Dale's Harley-Davidson in Mount Vernon stay the longest-running Harley dealer in Southern Illinois? How about free pickup and delivery and being the home of the $29.95 oil change? Plus, get financing as low as 1.5 APR, along with the best selection of certified pre-owned Harley-Davidsons. So now you know how Dale's Harley-Davidson stays number one. Dale's Harley-Davidson, open every day but Wednesday, just off of I-57 in Mount Vernon. Visit dales-hd.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Are you interested in a career in the culinary arts but can never afford the high cost of cooking school? Rin Lake College has a low-cost recipe for success. For as little as $5,500 per year, you can get a quality culinary arts education in your own backyard. That even includes books, tuition, class fees, and supplies. Learn to master domestic fare, pastry, and foreign cuisine in Ina, Illinois. Save thousands on a culinary arts education at Rin Lake College. For more information, log on to rlc.edu slash culinary arts. This is your home for Rams Radio, WMIX. Hey, and we welcome you back to the Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show from the CHS Annex. And a tough way to go down, but the Rams fall here to Alton, 52-51. You just got to go, go about your business, practice hard, play hard. Next Saturday against T-Town in the St. Anthony shootout. That'll be at 4 p.m. We'll have that for you on WMIX, video on WMIXSports.com. Oh, I just that. saw T-Town last night. Did you really? Yeah. They still tall? Oh, they got a couple of kids, one all state or not bad. They're coach out right Any now. Any uh, kids like that? I don't Famous last I'd have to get my Duster Comic Soup Classic program. But, uh, not you. yet. Yeah, I got everything mostly free down there, obviously. But um, I noticed that with T-Town that that is a very winnable game for Mount Vernon. I think it's going to be one where Mount Vernon go up there and get something done next Saturday. Get something done indeed. we got to get done here. Player of the game, Renly College. Over 100 degree and certificate programs, find the one that's going to save you thousands and be right for you at rlc.edu. Jake Pike, I think it has, has to be. Made that big yeah, three. To get the Rams to lead with time left. I think if the Rams hang on to win that, you can make a case for Trevor and his points, plus the blocks down low, but that tip is the buzzer, the wins it for all. Uh, you know, Pike just drains. We're not even talking about oh. that. If, if and Pike three seconds three. is a long time. A lot because it was a catch, seconds. shoot, hit the rim. Guy caught. The guy actually didn't catch and shoot. He got within midair and threw it in. So I mean, 
Yeah. You can argue and debate all you want. It's a tough way to go. Mount Vernon loses not once but twice this week on last second threes. Or last second three against Richards on Thursday, and then a last second tip put back here on Saturday. Nobody wants to be in this spot or situation. It's, it's a tough way to go out in a tournament. It's a tough way to end any game, period, when you lose on a last second shot. That it is. St. Lawrence ends up beating O'Fallon 66-49. to Alton, as you know, beat Mount Vernon 52-51, so it's Alton and St. Lawrence in the Constellation Championship. Effingham will battle Centralia in the fifth-place game as Effingham beat Richards here in front of us, 44 in front of me, 44-41. Let's see, Centralia got the win over McClure North earlier. I believe the final there was make it 54-45. That scoreboard update is presented by Tony Wilt State Farm Insurance for all of your insurance and financial service needs. Find Tony on the corner of 42nd South Water Tower in Mount Vernon. Get to a better state at TonyWilt.com as well. Uh, let's see. Community First Bank of the Heartland brings you Rams basketball. We'll be back on January the 5th as the Rams will travel to St. Anthony for the shootout against T-Town, 4 o'clock, your tip-off time. WMIX video returns to WMIXSports.com. Our next broadcast outside of the CHT games on our sister station, X95, will actually be January the 4th as the Weber Trojans head to Waltonville. The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase, WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com. That's going to do it for us today. For Danny Zerwinski, for Jeff Crow, for Avery Barton and Reese Barnfield, back in our Mount Vernon studios. For everyone with WMIX Sports and Withers Broadcasting, thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball. Their final game of the CHT ends in a loss, 52-51. to To all, so long from C-Town. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball on WMIX and watching worldwide on WMIXSports.com. Rams Basketball has been brought to you by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Dale's Harley-Davidson, Ren Lake College. See how you can save thousands on your education at rlc.edu. The Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto, Van Terra Bank. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. Sarah Staley, your country financial agent. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, and also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Heartland Accounting, Central Christian Church, and People's National Bank. Your home for news, talk, and sports. We are the legendary WMIX.